Lifeline has been answering calls uh, from people at risk of suicide for over 46 years. On any given year, we answer more than 400,000 calls. Suicide prevention is one of our core services and our hopes for 2010 are that suicidal people get the support they need when they're in a desperate crisis and that the Australian community becomes aware of the devastating impact that suicide has on our community. More than two and a half thousand people, we believe, die by suicide every year and that's significantly more than die on our roads every year. Our hope also is that we can tackle this last taboo of suicide and that people all throughout Australia can become more aware of what they can do, how to read the signs and uh, what can be done more generally in the community to prevent suicide. Our hope is that suicide becomes less stigmatised and that people don't feel ashamed or afraid to ask for help. We also hope that bereaved people uh, or those that have lost somebody to suicide can get compassionate care and help in a timely way when they need it. We also hope that the Senate inquiry that is happening this year becomes a catalyst for change and empowers others, all Australians, to be able to tackle this mostly preventable cause of death. Suicide is very democratic. It crosses all gender and socioeconomic divides, although some groups are more at risk than others. We hope that schools, workplaces and sporting clubs amongst other places where people gather can accept that they all have a role as well in preventing suicide and that they will invest the resources in training and upskilling their people to be able to prevent suicide. We want all Australians to realise that suicide is a whole of community issue so it's a social and public health issue that we all have a role to play in. Our hope is for an Australia where the mark of a man is that he knows that he can lean on others and seek help and support to be strong. This is particularly true for our Indigenous Australians. More than 80% of suicides in Australia are by men and we need to know that our men can seek help and that our culture supports them to be able to do that. Our hope for 2010 is that all people who experience a suicidal crisis or who attempt suicide will be able to get compassionate care and understanding at their time of need.